in the uh, in the lounge and uh, Saturday is always a mukbang where you can join us for food and we eat uh, we don't shovel stuff in our faces we just eat yes and show you what we're eating and talk and chat so it's Saturday Friday Sunday Saturday Friday Sunday that's how our lives rotate Saturday mukbang Friday chat Sunday live in the kitchen yes and so today we're just going to be making something we had a friend visit us uh, our friend Kay occasionally watches our vlogs not enough though just in case she's watching this one hi um, it came up to visit us uh, recently and mum and dad Brom had given us a sheet of short crust pastry because they'd bought a double pack they'd only used one and they said can you use this anyway it needed using that day that Kay came up and they had a bag of frozen mints well I did oh I'd, I had half a bag of frozen mints because if you were around during vlogmas you will have seen me do the cheeseburger pinwheels um, so I had half a bag of that mince left. I was like, do you know what? I'll do a meat and potato pie. So I did my potatoes, skins on, cut them into small cubes and just kind of fried them for a while. Then the onion, then the mince. And it was all right, but I thought I can improve on that. Hence today's vlog. And that's why in the instructions for anyone who's read them and, and is cooking along, it did say, part steam your potatoes. Um, before I get on to that, what I do need to tell you is that this is going to be a very interesting week on the channel, because although we've shown you a lot of great supermarket buys um, over this month, and uh, as we're always big pro proponents of food like that, you want to have a burger, have one, if you want a pizza, if you want a pie. Yes. However, if you can fill the rest of your plate with a lot of steamed veggies or salad or you food that's really good for you and it's whole foods that's what we do that's how we get away with it but it's not like we don't shy away from cooking from scratch we do a lot of things whole food plant-based and they're delicious thus begins this week perfectly explained so what i did today was the potatoes that i steamed for the, the pastry we're about to make together i did a load of extra so you can keep reading and, and highlighting things jason i will i've got this little bowl for the pastry but i've also got this filled so i steamed them all at the same time because tomorrow i'm going to cook a 500 gram bag of chickpeas and i'm going to um make our spanish chickpea and potato stew you can find it in our recipe playlist it's awesome it's so good mm. um then the rest of the chickpeas that i've cooked i'm going to make hummus and tuna with so that one day of the week we can have them on baked potatoes i'll be doing my gardener's pie this week which is beautiful lentil bottom and uh, white and sweet potato top um shepherdless pie yeah however we call it gardener's pie so this week's going to be and this week is my kick up the butt as well because i can cook and i can cook good mm. but i get lazy myself sometimes i want to oh i'll just grab something from the freezer yeah. and i'll <clears throat> put some frozen peas in the pan and that's enough and when we do eat whole food plant-based we always feel amazing yeah and we've said as well i think it's a nice way to round off veganuary exactly in terms of we've you know we've gone out there we've done all the shopping we've got a, a packed freezer yeah. with loads of stuff in it and that's all great and, and like paul said there's some wonderful stuff out there that's quick and convenient but i think a nice way for us to round off veganuary on the channel is to kind of show people actually you know, the myth about uh, veganism being expensive, it doesn't have to be. No, it doesn't. And it can also be incredibly healthy as well. And you can splurge now and again and have this other stuff that's processed. We'll get down to cooking in a second. Can I just say thank you to the lovely Stuart Crowder and Creeping Miasma who clubbed together to buy me this beautiful T-shirt. I don't know where from, so don't ask me. <laughs> You'll have to ask Stuart. Yes. But I absolutely love it. It's 100% cotton. And the colours in that are just beautiful. It's proper nice. So thank you, Stuart. I adore it. And thank you also, Stuart. He also bought me one that's a different colour, but with the same design. And I think it's grey. It's a grey blue. 
It's blue, huh? It's grey. It's blue. It's charcoal. Um, oh, she can't see colours. But thank you. Yeah, I just didn't want to wear it because we both were wearing the same T-shirt then. So, um, right. yeah. Um, just before we start cooking, um, <laughs> cooking is imminent because I know that there's a few people that are actually cooking along with us today, which is fabulous. We love it when that happens. It doesn't always happen. Um, I know that we've got a new channel member I wanted to give a little shout out to. Um, Ooh, scrolling Ooh, back the chat is moving bit. fast today, isn't it? Uh, Simone from Berlin, Germany. Um, hi, I'm new here from Berlin, Germany. Hope everyone is well and has a lovely weekend. Uh, I also messed up the time because of the time difference between the UK and Germany. Oh. Well, you are here, Simone. You are welcome and thank you. Yeah, I'm, do you know, I'm down. once all this COVID's over, Germany is one of the places I really, really, really want to visit. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. We want to visit loads of places, don't we? Yeah. And I want to give Doris a quick shout out because Doris has popped in and said, Hi, Paul and Jason. Good morning to everyone in this beautiful community. Unable to watch live, but we'll catch up later. Just wanted to make sure I gave my thumbs up. Oh, Looking Doris. forward to this. Doris, when you watch later on, this is especially for you. Hmm. Cool. Um, so we've got, right. we've got a ton of people in the house, 115. Do give the live stream a thumbs up if you haven't already. That would be greatly appreciated if you feel like you've got that within yourself. And I will now pass to Paul for cooking stuffs. Right. Well, I think we're going to need um, this to it could do with being higher so that you can lower it. Do you know what I mean? Oh, well, I, I mean, I could possibly put it on its stand. Okay, I'll put it on some blocks. We may care. just we may just okay, have a little a little shift here just slightly so you can see a bit clearer. What's going on in the old? Uh, it won't be nice to what's it? Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to a down to earth kitchen. You'd think we'd be all planned, wouldn't you? It's, it's our real lives. We just happen to be documenting it. Let's just try a couple. When of we did make this, um, that night when cake, cake came down, it was it was so lovely. It was so lovely. My mum had a slice. Me, Jason, and Kay had a slice. Um. And I think I cut it into small enough portions that mean you had an extra slice, Jason. There you go. That's that. That's so much better. And it, it, yeah, yeah. It's just so we can see. I'm just worried about the uh, the fans right being I'm, blocked. I'm going to use a very, very, very tiny bit of oil. You don't have to. You could just use some stock and steam fry, but. I'm just using a tiny bit of oil because I want some char flavour in my onions. There you go, see. So, is this ready to go? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, yeah. So, there you go, that's all right. And I've got my onion all chopped and ready to go. I'm just going to let that heat up for a short while first. Uh, can you buy, pass me the bag of frozen mints out the um, the... Freezer, my darling. It's there, stood up. Probably to break it up a little bit before you. You can do. That'd be nice. So today I'm using um, today I'm using uh, Pump Pioneers. It is honestly, I know I probably sound biased because you all know I shop at Sainsbury's mostly, and I do love Sainsbury's. But it is one of the best soy minces. I've used it for a long, long time. And I'll tell you what else they do best in all plant pioneers, frozen meatballs. Tried the Aldi ones last night, as you'll see in Tutor's meal vlog, and they were good, but there's only 12 in a packet. So if I was to split that over two meals for me and Jason, that's three each. Three meatballs with spaghetti, if you're going daft and need four or five. Sainsbury's, you get 18 or 19 in the bag for like one pound odd. So that's two meals for us. I do a five and a five and a five and a four. Well, I'm, ever so, I'm ever so clever. <laughs> clever. It's got to be done. Right. So the for people who are cooking along, oil has heated up, onions are going in. Yeah. Fabulous. Nice thing you, Mildred. Get in there. Um, it's this. <laughs> <laughs> There's no escape. I'll tell you what I'll do on it. Much to the side, ever so slightly. I tried to break that mince up, but it's proper frozen. Like, obviously it's frozen, but, you know. Yeah, and of course, you don't have to use frozen mince. You can use one of the, uh, like, the meatless farm, as it's called. Do a, I think they do a pea mince now. Yeah. 
there's so many brilliant minces well, that's out the, there at the moment. That's the great thing, isn't it, about this and many other things that you, many other recipes that you've done on the channel is that the ver it's versatile. You can put your own spin on it, but also equally, whenever you're shoving stuff in pastry, it's really going to come down to how tasty the filling is, isn't it? If you look at our um, if you look at our recipes playlist, you'll find a lot of stuff shoved in pastry. I went through after we came up with the festive plat a few years ago, which was like beautiful sausages, stuffing, cranberry, all the festive bits in a puff pastry plat. And then I just went mental. I was like, I did a double bacon, double cheeseburger puff pastry plat. Sausage and mash, put pastry plant. We, we just did loads. There was a lot. Oh, mm -hmm. um, full vegan breakfast, put pastry plant. They're all there in the playlist and some crackers. But, you know, we're northerners. You put anything in pastry and we're going to enjoy it. Classic northerners. It's true. It's very true. Uh, can I just check and ask, just because I haven't today, can everybody um, can everybody hear us okay and can everybody see us okay? Um, just double check to make sure. The time had come, YouTube, can you hear me, to cook my stuff, can you understand me? Thank you, Emma. If anyone knows what that melody was from, ten points to you. Thank you, Rachel Louise. Appreciated. Yeah, it's a lot. If you're on a PC or you're on your phone, and particularly, I'm particularly conscious when we're doing our live streams um, on YouTube. You can choose your settings that you stream at. Bit of browning. Just getting a little bit of colour on them, but I would just want a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Yeah. When your body's head. Thank you, Kelly, and everyone else. Greatly appreciated. Wonderful. You can't beat the smell. You can't beat the smell, can you? Yeah, I've noticed um, sometimes when I'm watching videos, particularly if I'm watching the odd video on my phone on YouTube, it'll like auto set it to, to stream at a certain quality setting, and it's usually in the middle. Plant Pioneers, no, no meat mints, and I'm probably going to use about half the bag ish. Nice. Oh, you know what I've not done? What? Which I've started doing. Can you just pass me one of those tea towels? To yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 ye
dialogues. Um, so the beef's dialogue, so... Um, oh, you bugger. Yeah, I think it was Rachel who said, I'm following so far, so good. Excellent. I'm going to put my beef style oxo or whatever beef style flavouring you're using yourself in there dry whilst it's dry. Trying to get, get it so it's not reflecting with the light. You'll find you get a much better flavour out of it. Come on, let's have these last few little lumps. There we go. Now it's all heating up, it's uh, separating much easier. I'm guessing, Ashley, you'll want something fairly quick and simple when you get in. I hope you, uh, I hope you, uh, you get something tasty anyway. That's for sure. Right. Tried to mix that oxo around and coat it on as much of it as I possibly can. Nice. Uh, Simone um, says, unfortunately pasties aren't a tradition here, but I plan to introduce my family to them. Well, that's nice. That's awesome. If I'm not mistaken, pasties traditionally back in the day, correct me if I'm wrong, weren't they designed that half of it was savoury and half of it was sweet? Yeah, they used to put a bit, a bit in the middle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, the pastry, when pasties were invented, the pastry wasn't meant to be eaten. It was just a way to hold two separate parts of a meal. Yeah. And then people were like, hang on, why don't I make the outer edible? And, yeah. Uh, and here we are. Here we are many moons later. Ashley says, post me a pasty, lads. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's like a song title, post me a pasty. I like it. Right, now, because we want to use this, in the pastry pretty soon what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use cold water in it in a minute so i'm just gonna sprinkle some of the bisto best onion powder not not loads just a nice thin sprinkling there you go over one layer it's about a teaspoon wasn't it nah, yeah maybe two maybe two yeah and i'm gonna do the same with that make sure that it's all over the because in the oven it will thicken once you've mixed it with the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Don't want to cook that anymore now. Is that done with for now or done with? Uh, done. I'm, I'm done. Right. Done. Just because I'll disconnect the gas, you see. Done cooking. There we go. It's all safe and sound. What I'm going to do now is the potatoes that I cooked previously and have cooled. I'm just going to cut only the like massive ones in half in there. And in a minute, I'm going to add some cold water. Mm -hmm. And then we'll only have to wait about five minutes, you see, before we fill the pastry. Yes. Excellent. Because it will be part of the cooling process. Just getting sl slices. The new potatoes. Some of these smaller ones could just go in whole. Oh yeah. <laughs> Kelly says, I only live around the corner from TVG so I could go and sniff through the window. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Kelly. Uh whilst you're just doing that, I will also say, uh, Jacqueline, sorry, it just arrived. We'll go to the beginning and cook along with you. Triple kisses. Thank you, Jacqueline. Fabulous. So now, in order to cool that down a little bit and to um, give it a bit of gravy, we're just going to add a little splash of cold water. Well, no more than that. Yeah. A little splash of cold water. Mix that round so it's all in there. It will help it cool. We'll just give it five minutes because the potatoes have been in the fridge as well, so they'll help it cool. We'll just give it five minutes and then we'll get it whacked in the pastry. Fabulous. The potatoes are just ever so slightly underdone. 
just ever so slightly because the rest of them will cook in there. But I wanted a, a bit of a firm bite anyway. Uh, after we had that Ginsters potato pasty, I was like, whoa. Yeah. yeah. Well, anybody who watches our meals vlogs, you will know on numerous occasions, myself and Paul have said how important texture is when you're shoving stuff in pastry. Um, and sadly, it is a bit lacking with the, uh, with the Greg's stuff. Bit of salt. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper in it. And a little bit of black pepper. Nice. And for us, this is not an, an, an essential ingredient, but if you do have any Henderson's Relish um, or any uh, Maggie, that do as well. I'm just going to put just a couple of shakes of Hendo's in there. It's all about the flavour, isn't it? All about the flavour. If I go next round... Uh, Gemma says, hi guys, I've been vegan since the 1st of January. Absolutely love your vlogs. Thank you both for the support in your vlogs and keeping me going. Much love. Oh, thanks, love. Nice I'm one. I'm glad you're finding it easy. It's a fun journey, isn't it? And it's delicious. Yeah. That's why we go on about it all the time, because we're like, we know that once people have got that, and they know that their um, sensory pleasure isn't going to be defined, because that's why people get... Uh, defensive, isn't it? They get defensive over the sensory pleasure they get. Don't, I don't want to stop eating this thing. It gives me sensory pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, You yeah. still get that same sensory pleasure from vegan stuff, and that's all we're trying to share. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Jane says, my daughter started watching your vlogs. She loves your shopping and cooking vlogs, plus is looking forward to the allotment adventure this year. Yeah, well, we'll be down then. We think we'll be down there next weekend, don't we? Ninety-eight percent, so for, uh, yeah. to, to kind of start the ball rolling because we know that once we start, it's going to be weekly. Yeah, like a, or a couple of times a week, and as we get nearer the growing season, a few times a week, a couple of nights a week. It yeah, get, you know, it get it becomes quite demanding. Uh, the allotment, but in a good way. Yeah, it yeah, gets yeah. Us out, gets yeah. us active, gets us in nature. It, you know. There's two two beautiful, specific things beautiful. about the allotment. One is, uh, I think we mentioned uh, before, we're starting off in a much better place with our allotment plot this year than we were last year. This time last year. But also, I think Jane has just mentioned it as well. We're just waiting for the snow to arrive in the UK as it's getting cold now. Uh, I do think we're going to we're going to get some snow before the end of January. So. Fingers crossed, allotment next weekend, but uh, we'll we'll see how it all goes. Right, if you can shift that now, Jason. Absolutely. And we'll um, lower the camera a little bit because we're going to be do deliver the pastry. Now, one of our subscribers told me this. I didn't know. When you buy just roll pastry in the UK, um, and and it, could you pass that out, Jason? What am I passing? I'm sorry, the pastry. Oh, try that. Oh. It does say uh, very clearly suitable for vegans uh, on the back. I didn't know this though. It comes wrapped in greaseproof paper. All them vlogs I've done with shoving things in pastry. Yeah. And I've took it off this. That after is I've the... built it all up and and spent real time. And then very carefully moved it to a different piece of greaseproof paper and slid it off this. This is greaseproof paper. Oh, I didn't even know. When you know better, you do better. Um, easy, easy question to answer. Uh, Emma asks, when did you two go vegan? Sorry if you've already answered this. Uh, eight years are we now? Eight years ago, Emma. Uh eight years it was a very different time and a very different world uh, and we've actually got quite a few subscribers now um, that are like have been vegan like 40 plus oh, years bugger it's just ripped i hate it? it when it does that it's just ripped it's all right it's all right we can hopefully show you the real life we'll show you the real world we have the power to fix it it's doing a nice little stitching job there nice You'd make a per perfect field medic, should it be required of you one day. Okay, I'm going to bring you back up. Now I've shown you, now I've shown you the reality of uh, store-bought, off-the-shelf pastry. Oh, goodness me. 
It's got a very sticky end, does this? Always the same. You can always you can always make it a bit smaller and use that for something else. There we go. Right, I just need to do some fixing now. Bit of fixing. Little bit of fixing. Whilst Paul's fixing that, um, Little Miss Sharon uh, is asking about uh, what we feed Isis. We feed her cat food. Um, cats are carnivores, obligate carnivores. So, I mean, that's not to say, I know for a fact there are uh, cats out there that live very happily and healthily on a vegan, um, on vegan food, but we feed our cat uh, just regular cat food. So that's a, a simple answer to a fairly simple question. Thank you, little, little Miss Sharon. Right. You're managing that. Yeah. Oh, Kirsten, a TVG channel member for 20 months. Sorry I'm late. I'm catching the beginning at the end, lol. Can't believe I've been a member for so long. Thank you for being a channel member, Kirsten. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. You've done a good stitch-up job there. Looks all right. I know. I hope it's going to stay because what I would like to do my herb thing. Oh, yeah. Right. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm just going to take the pastry off this for a second. Ah. Uh, Turn it the other way around. So that's the outside of my pastry. And I'm going to put some dried herbs there. Love a bit of dried herbage. Um, you don't have to do this. It's just me. So because rosemary goes well with potatoes, I'm going to do rosemary. I'm just going to press it in with my hand so it actually gets into the pastry. Right. Then I'm going to turn it back, ready to build. Yeah? Yeah. So you're done with that? Yeah. Fabulous. Oh, yeah, that's all right, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Just so you can see what's going on. So herbs on one side. Right you, you had to try. Thank was... you, Jane. And now I'm just going to start putting all my stuff on. Now, here's the thing. You could, like, cut that into four and do four separate ones, but I'm just doing one big one. Just try and keep it over one side. And make sure that you've got a nice mix of potatoes and um, mince in each bit. You don't want any bit to be just loads of tater right there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, Sharon says, does it freeze? Yes. Yeah, it's fine for pretty, us. Pretty much anything you cook with um, uh, ready-made ready -made pastry sheets will freeze great after it's cooked. Mm -hmm. So we are going to have this this evening for our evening meal with, uh, with some salad, aren't we, Paul? We are. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to make sure I leave space to <laughs> Jupiter says, Oh my god, I adore singing whilst cooking. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Jupiter. I think uh Ashley and Holly are recruiting for our uh, meetup next Saturday in the uh in the comments. Seeing if anyone else is uh, is local-ish and or interested. Oh, I've managed it. I've managed not to waste any. You've got to roll it yet. Shh. Don't that, say words. That's a seriously packed pasty. A giant packed pasty. It is, but the good thing about pastry is it's kind of stretchy. Jay, I might need your hand here. Really? Yeah. Oh, that bit's coming apart. I'm just going to pull it over. Help me. Grab it in the middle there, yeah, Jay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And pull. Oh, gently, gently, gently. I can't. There we go. There we go. There we go. 
There we go. Oh, just going to push that round a little bit. Oh dear. It'll be fine. We've got some breakage where, where it broke before. But that'll be all right because I'm just going to press with my hand first along all the edges. Just to flatten my hand I'm using. To seal it, yeah. Yeah. Like that. Nice. And then you can use a you can use a knife or a fork to like crinkle the edges. I've got one of these here pastry wheels. So after I've pressed it like that, along the fetch, <laughs> I'm just gonna Take the edges off. Nice. Rachel says, that was tricky, but I've done it. Yay, lol. Nice one, Rachel. There we go. If I've missed anybody else that's cooking along, by the way, I do apologise. Now, some of these holes on top, I'm actually all right with, because they'll let some air out. Oh, of course. Yeah, I never thought of that. You know. But others of them I'm not happy with. For example, here. Yeah. These are okay on the top, aren't they? I mean, that's where you put a hole so anyway. So I'm going to flatten bit of pastry like that and I'm going to do some surgery and he says going back to what I was saying before about um, having people on the on our channel our subscribers that have been vegan for a lot longer uh, and he says going vegan in 1982 was very different from now yeah I bet, I bet it was wow I bet it was yeah thank you for being a pioneer yes thank you thank you hugely appreciated well that is what you are my love a pioneer, yeah. Plant pioneer. <laughs> <laughs> Which is funnily enough, I, with the paste, the very pastry I'm using. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm good at this pastry surgery. It turns out. Oh, Bobby. Honestly, it'll be great. The, the last one that Paul made was fantastic, but I think with the uh, the tweak that he's done with the potatoes, I can bring his back up now. You've seen, you've seen, you've seen the patchwork. Yeah, all I'm doing now is just patching up some little holes, like bit. That's it. Just so I can, because I can slide this straight onto the tray. You see now, it's quite a hole there at the end. <laughs> nice one, Emma. There we go. I think it's, uh, I was chatting to mum before, um, and one of the things she was saying was about um, how they've got into um, doing stuff. Obviously, over the last 18 months or so, a lot more time spent at home, a lot more cooking at home and trying different stuff. Dad's properly got into making pastry now, which is brilliant. Um, and if you're both watching, which I'm sure you will be, mum and dad, much love to you both. Um, we will see you soon. And uh, Auntie Pearl, if you're watching as well, much love to you as well. But yeah, it's um, it's that whole thing, isn't it? Of like, if you can make your own pastry, that's great. The plethora of stuff that you can buy off the shelf now with the store bought is brilliant. Um, and then it does, going back to what I was saying before, it does come down to just how good is your filling? How tasty is it? How, you know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just kind of using up this these last bits of pastry and doing long things well like you said you need um for no reason you need a few holes don't you? Weather. right now then nice manager yep okay so i'm the tray and i'm going to cut off the excess paper fabulous i've got the oven preheated to um 180 Oh, Leanne's back. Leanne, I hope you're good. Ready for oven. Fabulous. Rachel, that's good to read. Did what? you put as much filling in as Paul did, though? That's the question. <laughs> Rachel says, no tears for my pastry, Paul. Lol. <laughs> 
He did put an awful lot of filling in there. I oh, did put an awful lot of filling in there. I think the filling was slightly too warm, which is why when I first made it, I said, let it go cool. So if you're watching this after the fact, leave it a good 10, 15 minutes, let it proper cool down the stuff. Well, that was just rude. Rude. Had to damn busy. <laughs> All right, let me turn the sound off. To not disturb. There we go. So yeah, we're going to have a slice of this um, tonight with a nice salad. And then the rest of the potatoes, as I said, I shall be using tomorrow to do my Spanish chickpea stew uh, recipe already on the channel in the recipes playlist. Well worth doing. Um, it's beautiful. It's, it really is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, Leanne is back. Well, I'm frozen to the bone. It wasn't fast or pretty, but I did it. Well done, Leanne. Bravo, Yay. Leanne. Woo! Excellent stuff. And you even managed to pop in to the live as well. How lovely. You're lovely. awesome. Much Bravo. Appreciated. There's not a chance I could run 10k. Um, for the rest of this week, as I mentioned at the start of the vlog, I'm not, I'm not going to be showing me cooking the stuff because i've already done recipe vlogs for them all but i will be taking you through right here's what i'm doing today i've already filmed a bit before we started filming today um having had to yes. kind of you know lots of go inside lots of bits and things coming on the channel between now and the end of january all kinds of bits and things and stuff yeah and this week it is very much about celebrating whole foods and celebrating cooking at home from scratch um, and uh, seeing how you feel after you've had a meal like that because if you're anything like us it, it, it really does make a difference it does yeah without getting into the science and the nutrition of it, it just 98% of the time we always say don't we when we have something that's almost or entirely whole food plant-based we're like we do feel great after that. But we even we've tended to avoid stuff like that and always try and go for meat alternatives. And mm. it's funny because I'll tell you how I came up with my gardener's pie recipe. We bought, is it called Amy's Kitchen? It might be Amy's Kitchen or, de, or Deliciously Ella. One of them two. And it was a vegan... Um, little like shepherd's pie kind of and it had sweet potato on top just sweet potato i think and then underneath a beautiful mix of lentils and beans and it, we enjoyed it but we got it like massively reduced somewhere I think yeah it's being discontinued might might have even been home bargains um and we had it and i was like i can make that it, it was deliciously simple um, and then I came up with the gardener's pie recipe because I was like, I want that. I want... Lentils are so beautiful as an alternative to mince in a pie like that. Beautiful. Absolutely. And they're full of protein and dead good for you. So you just take a bit of effort like everything else. That's the joy of having an instant pot, though, because these dried things like chickpeas and lentils, you can do them so quick. Although I got into using dried beans and it has to be said, lentils and stuff like that before the instant pot. I got into the whole thing of soaking for the appropriate time and then yeah, yeah. the next day and yeah. everything. It's just so It's just a bit easier, easier with the so instant pot, isn't it? Easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, nice try says, I'm about to cook Linda McCartney burgers. Are these best oven cooked or grilled? Oh, well, we cook them in the oven. Are they the uh, quarter pounders ones? Nice try. If they are. That is our absolute favourite burger. Linda McCartney's quarter pounders. Beautiful. Love them. Hmm. Rachel, who's been cooking along with us the whole way in the oven, can't wait to try these. Thank you, Paul and Jess, for doing these videos. Oh, thank you for watching and taking part. Yes, that's awesome. That's it, Emma. That that was it. Amy's Kitchen Lentil Shepherd's Pie. That was it. That's what inspired my garden's pie. Is it wasn't it gorgeous? But then you break it down afterwards and you're like but that's really simple it's lentils and beans and sweet potatoes and the right seasonings and it's beautiful i can do that you know what i mean i'm just bloody lazy sometimes like i said at the start i am it's, i think we i think we all are we forget to put ourselves first because putting ourselves first requires that little bit of extra effort mm. doesn't it 
Yeah. Uh, and that's like, that it's if you want to get into the psychology of it all, isn't it? It's like, is a meal time just about feeding yourself or is it about feeding yourself? Do you know, is it just about the food or is it about being nutrition and healthy? nutritious and healthy and making sure that you're getting the right stuff in the right way that still tastes yeah. delicious personally for me it's a combination it is isn't it it's very much yeah. a mix some of it's uh, motivation levels some of it is just general mental health levels it's peaks and troughs it's other inspirations in life but you make a really good point there that sometimes it's not just about um what you're putting in your body it's the time that you spend doing that cooking yeah, as well. absolutely. Uh, Jane Thomas asks, Paul, would you consider doing some instant pot recipes vlogs? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Jane, do you want the truth? This is terrible, really. I've never used it to actually make a recipe. No, you haven't, have you? No. Just I've never actually have. cooked anything like a dish in it. I've, 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 I've used it for the purpose it was bought, really. Was I was so desperate to start using beans and the lentils more, which why well, I'm annoyed at myself. Got an instant pot now, no excuse. And yet I'm still like, well, <laughs> every month I'll do something. Um, so I've only ever cooked my beans in it and then made other things from them. You know, um, it's something I suppose it's something I should look into a bit more. Mm. Leanne says, I'm weird with texture, so I tend to use lentils instead of mints. Yeah, lentils is a winner, isn't it, for a lot of people? You know, you've said it yourself and a few others have said it. Alex says, shame, I can't find anything vegan in my home bargains apart from a bit of veg. It's a big one as well. Oh. I'm guessing, Alex, Are I'm not in the freezer. Sorry, Dave. please don't say that the wrong way. We didn't even know they had a freezer and it was only a small one. That's where we found those pizzas for like 59p. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they yeah. were all right. Yeah. And we found um, thingy cheese. Um, cocoa. Cocoa cheese. Yeah. And... It's totally random though, Alex. And it I do, do fully appreciate it's a difficult one. There might be some stuff that's like accidentally vegan, but in terms of actually finding stuff that's clearly, you know, like clearly marked vegan, it's a it's an absolute lottery. It really is. It is. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, Chris, thank you so much. Oh, oh, Chris, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. That's really, uh, really nice of you, and really nice of you to prompt the scowls from <laughs> across the across the way. I can't believe I let him talk me out of it, though. I was Granted, right. It won't, no, you weren't. I was right. No, you weren't, because the last couple of days, no, it was Tesco meal deal now, and I was like, let's just get a box of three while we're here. No, no, I'm not. Let me, let me, uh, let me, let me just put my case forwards to those people, uh, Holly <laughs> and Chris. Possibly, I don't know. Oh, sorry, Chris, I've lumped you in there. I do apologise. Um, I put my case forward. If we'd have bought those donuts, how many is? How much is it for three? Five pound sixty. Like that, Five pound odd for three donuts. If I'm going to pay that amount, I want to be eating those donuts fresh on the day. I don't want to pay over five pound for three donuts and then be eating the donuts the day afterwards. Unacceptable for me, that, in my book. They've probably been on the shelf there quite a few days. All the more reason. Got to eat them as fresh as possible. And we know they wouldn't have got eaten that day because we had the wicked meal deal with the desserts and everything. So, oh, she did. However, I am very, very eager to try the, uh, the Tesco the Krispy Kreme donut, vegan donuts from Tesco's. So, Chris, thank you. Thank you. Man. Good, sir. So, what we're doing with this um, today, we're having, it's going to get cut into four. We're going to have a piece each for dinner. Jess is going to take a nice big piece for lunch one day at work. And Joan's having a piece. My mum. Joan lives a few doors down. Taking her a piece down. So, that's what's happening with this today. Um, but you had an interesting... You said something interesting before about your work lunches. And yeah. I think that's worth talking yeah, about. Yeah, we'll just touch on this for a minute whilst uh, whilst the cooking is happening. Um, I think one of the things that I want to try to do more for the rest of this year and onwards is to try and incorporate more stuff from home. Number one, whenever I eat something at work that's from home, it genuinely does brighten my day up. It's like it's a really nice thing to be able to do. Um, two just for cost savings. Um, but what I will also say is I will still try and incorporate a meal uh, taste, a lunchtime taste test 
um, as much as I can once a week. But also, um, we're going to start showing you uh, some of the prep and what I'm taking from home for lunch at work, just to kind of maybe give you a bit of inspiration uh, or some ideas around that as well. And that might start this week because we're going to be doing a lot of home cooked stuff and a lot of this stuff has always extended into you taking a lunch. Yes. With a Spanish chickpea stew, you've always taken a lunch. Yeah. The hummus and um, tuna, you could quite easily take a tuna sandwich. Yeah. Hummus as a separate little pot and some crudités. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, um, All sorts. Gardener's pie. Easy. You, yeah. You, you normally Whenever you do a curry, there's nearly always enough after for that as yeah. well. And I'd like to do, I think, some tofu quiches maybe. Yeah, week. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I think the other thing as well is, is like when, going back to what Paul was talking about before, about kind of cooking, um, you know, with more sort of basic ingredients and sort of cooking from scratch and that kind of thing. If it feels a bit daunting and it's like, well, I'm going to go and spend maybe 30 minutes to an hour or maybe longer in the kitchen because I'm no expert. Paul does 99.9% .9 of the cooking. But what I would say is if you you're going to if you're going to cook something and then it's actually got multiple purposes for like the next week. So you're cooking one thing, but you know it's got three purposes uh, and they're all different. So mm -hmm. you don't feel like you're eating the same or thing. Or even just two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, that's why I cook it's a bonus, isn't it? potatoes today for the stew tomorrow, yeah. which will need the 500 gram bag of chickpeas cooking. Well, it won't need that much, but the rest I'll then do tuna and hummus. Yeah. I might even make some falafel. Uh, but again, that's a recipe on the that's already on the channel. We did it on a live on Sunday, and they were gorgeous. Yeah. Weren't they gorgeous? Yeah, yeah. And especially at this time of year when it's quite cold as well. Um, I mean, like just recently, um, I've done a lunchtime taste test which will be up on tuesday um this week coming um i, I did a, a taste test in that but also um it's not the best sometimes just eating like a cold sandwich when it's like really cold outside and it has been the temperatures definitely dipped over the last few days um so being able to bring something from home and warm it up be it a curry or a stew or a soup yeah. uh and the lovely anger i just said i love homemade soup for lunch yeah, yeah, yeah. If I take a homemade soup for lunch, I would love that, but I'd need a good few slices of bread to go with it, or yeah, some kind of a sandwich, a sandwich or a crusty sandwich. roll. Yeah, yeah something it's like, like you know. Say if I did a tomato soup, a vegan cheese sandwich to go with that, perfect. Do you want maybe even a vegan cheese toasted sandwich? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to tell Peter your interesting, the interesting story about our first experience using chickpea water and what happened? With the ghostly experience, it's yeah. quite a long story. Um, Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just going to kind of do say the end bit about what I, I have done, Peter. I've made uh, meringue. Um, do not, do not mix it with icing sugar to make your meringue, and then put it in the oven for it will become ectoplasm and swell and jump out your oven. Yeah. That's the lesson I learned. It was a, it was. So a... yeah, I have done, Peter, but I don't always. However. When I cook my own chickpeas, I'll save some of that liquid because it's that liquid rather than oil that I'll use to make the hummus yes. to make it healthier. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. Sharon. Oh, sorry. Well, nice, no, right? When I make a curry, as there is only one of me, the next day I use puff pastry to make a curry pie. Oh, nice, Sharon. Very Lovely. nice idea. Yeah. Love that. I've never done that with uh, pastry, put um, curry in it. That's a very mm. good idea. Thanks, Tra love. Tracy as well, um, Tracy and Leroy. Leroy is always keen to take leftovers to work for lunch as his fellow job mates are mostly always adamant carnivores and they're always blown away by his meals, the smell, etc. You said that the very first time you took the Spanish chickpea stew to yeah. work and you said everyone was like, oh, boss, that you have it smells gorgeous. It happens quite often, to be fair. And I think that's like a really nice, subtle activism. It, there's an activism element there yeah. that you're doing, but you're doing it kind of by the just sort of dispelling myths, planting seeds, very gentle, gentle approach, but lovely, lovely that people respond in a positive way like that. It's great. Definitely. I might just turn this round now. I like to do one turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. <clears throat> 
Looking good. Oh, tasty. Tasty, tasty. Would you ever yell at the green beans and ants? The cotton mills represent bad. Just ask for Kettle's brown flakes. That's a different matter. That's where they all gone bad. <laughs> they're tasty, tasty. Very, very tasty. They're very tasty. Chris they're says it's tasty. snowing where, they, where, where he is. Oh. And oh no. oh no, Jordan says, uh, so glad I found you guys championing simple and nutritious food. I've just started cooking for myself and some of the recipes I was picking out was 20 pounds a pop. Yeah, it can, it can be. It's it, it's that's why we've we've always been proponents of down to earth veganism, you know, yeah. haven't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy a few processed things, a couple of pies, burgers, stuff like that. Treat yourself to them, just surround them with fresh veg and um, uh, or, and or salad. Mm -hmm. You know, we try to, uh, I think our plates are, considering that we do eat a lot of processed food, because yeah. we do. Yeah. Um, well, we've said before, we've got, got peaks and troughs. Yeah, but our plates are always a really good ratio. It's like, it will be a pie and then a load of veg and gravy, gravy made with veg, you know, to, to make sure we're getting our um, nutrients. However, we have been known to sit down to just a plate, massive plate of steamed vegetables and a good onion, onion gravy. We love doing that now and again, though. Yeah, we? definitely. Just kind of get an urge for it. Defo. Uh, Alex says, tasty, um, tasty. What ad was that? Can't remember. Kellogg's Brown Flex just sang it. That's why They're yeah. tasty, tasty. Very, very tasty. They're very tasty. I know I just sang, the, I sang it all. Did you not hear me? No, it's not. There. Alex just didn't remember what the ad song, what ad the advert from the song was. The song was. That's what he was asking. Yeah, no, I just sang it with the with what it was in it. Oh, right. just ask for Kellogg's Brand Flakes. That's a different matter. That's where they all go mad. I They're tasty, tasty. I had to think, is this vegan item I'm singing about? So many commercials stuck in my head. Jingles. That's what they do. They get stuck in your head. Uh, Rachel says, "I'm going to have a small slice when they're ready and have some for dinner tonight with veggies." Nice. Lovely. Nice. Pretty Lou, loving your channel from Failsworth, Manchester. Hello, Pretty Lou. Just down the road. Yeah, she don't live far from Aldi. Ah, excellent. We've, okay. chatted, we've chatted before. Uh, Peter, have you ever heard of the very good butcher that come to the UK at some point as well? It's not here where I live. What is it? Is it a, a company? We've got that on oh, no, Earth's vegetarian kitchen, isn't it? Yeah. I think there is another one though, isn't there? There's a it's few a company, yeah. If it's products we make, <coughs> we may already have them. <laughs> Rachel, I don't know how long you've been uh, following our channel, but uh, my cooking is few and far between. It has to be said, and we like it that way. To be fair, it works for us. We all have our roles in life, don't we? Yeah. Just have to respect what people do and don't do. You're just not a cook, are you? We all have our strengths and weaknesses. Breakfast. Yeah. Every morning. My I'm, strength is eating. I'm quite a territorial in my kitchen because I like my own cooking very much. Yeah, and I love eating. I love eating your food, so it's a it's a really good match. Works out. Works well. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, I do breakfasts. That's my thing. And uh, yeah, that's the other thing as well. I don't think because I, because I'm not my brain doesn't work that way in terms of putting things together, uh, in terms of ingredients and stuff. It's probably just the undue pressure on me, undue stress um, that I don't need in my life. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Hi, Tilly Phil Pot, and welcome to the channel. Ah, oh, nice, nice. From one of my uh, favourite places in Britain, Brighton. Used to go to Brighton on my days off when I worked at uh, Butlins, Bognor Regis many years ago. Loved Brighton, loved the lanes, loved the seafront, loved the cliffs. But... Nice. Yeah, good yeah. times. Fond memories. I, I'm embarrassed to say I've never been. Well, to my memory. That's one thing we're going to remedy, isn't it? Yes. You, we are going to have a trip. <coughs> Oh, and of course, Jason does the pots. Yeah, we don't have a dishwasher. What um, we do? Like, lots of, I think we set up, 
can it can be taken for granted that uh, a lot of modern households in the UK now do have a, a, a machine, a dishwashing machine. But uh, yeah, I do the pots. Old school in this house. <laughs> yes. Well, a little bit longer. A little bit longer? Yeah, I want it browned everywhere. I want it proper browned. I like a nice crispy pastry. Oh, thank you, Rachel. Hmm. And Tilly, yes, I'm very lucky to live in Brighton. So many amazing vegan restaurants and cafes. You should definitely take a trip here in the summer. It's lovely. Yeah, I think we're going to, because we've said if we can't afford to get abroad this year, the least we can do is travel. Like, you can see places in our own country. It would be nice to have a few a few extended weekends away. I would love that. Yeah, we'd love that. We've said we'd like to go and visit Leanne and Imran and, and head over the border into Wales. And and Karad. Yes. Oh, I'm not sure how near they live to each other, but if we went for a weekend, we could fit them all in. Yeah. But yeah, we would like to. Um, it would be nice um, to get over to the lakes um, and maybe, you know, see what the, the vegan scene is like over in the Lake District these days. It'd be nice to go somewhere in Scotland. We've never been to Scotland, either of us. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be great to go, go up, up north. Up, up north. That would be great. <laughs> Thank you, Leanne. Yes, Flanny. We, we love making them. We love making holiday vlogs. Uh, we've done holiday vlogs for Kefalonia. We've done holiday vlog for Tenerife. But it would be nice to maybe do some like weekend break vlogs yes. on the channel where we, you know, maybe meet some subscribers, um, you know, eat some lovely vegan food at places that we've never been to before. And obviously, you know, show you show you all that stuff. Peter, I, he says Earthling Head Ed has a restaurant there called the North Catch Court. I thought they were called Unity Diner. Oh, I don't know. Is that the fish and chips thing? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm sure his van was called Unity Diner at um Vegan Camp Out. I can't I honestly can't remember, you know. Uh, Aston UK, what's the best way to support your channel? I also had in mind sending something for you to review. We do that sort of thing. We do do that sort of thing. Um we do have a PO box, it's listed in it's written in well, it's on our about section on our channel, but it's also in the description of every video. Yes. Um, and uh, the best way to support us is uh, watching, liking, commenting and subscribing. If you want to go above and beyond that, becoming a channel member really helps. Becoming a patron really helps. Um, buying our merch. All that stuff. There are loads of, but break it down to its most simple elements watching liking commenting and subscribing yeah all said all said oh that's cute oh, i've thought about that lots of times peter going to the fringe can't believe i've not been at 52 to mm. be honest can I say something slightly controversial? Of course you can. I don't know how much I would enjoy Edinburgh Fringe Festival. Yeah. I, I feel like it might be a bit a bit overwhelming. Right. I think it'd be I think you'd have to have a really good plan almost before you went or be fully accepting of complete spontaneity for like a week. Because there's so much going on. Yeah. There's so much to see and do. You'd be like, oh. Every, every direction you turn, there's a gig or a comedy, something going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, yeah. I mean, people go with that intent, don't they, to watch as much as they can. Yeah, yeah. Support as much as they can. I think that's it's spontaneous. A, it's, a, it's the birthplace of new works. Yeah. You'd have to be a, you'd have to have a spontaneous head on, or I would anyway. It's not the birthplace, it's the nursery of new works. Yes. It's the test bed. Yeah. Yeah. Defo. 
Oh, Sharon, thank you. Sharon says, I became a patron this week as I have watched you guys for two years. Oh, can oh, I? Thank, thank you, Sharon. And I need to shout out to our uh, patrons because I've noticed a couple of people have become patrons recently. And I used to, the second I saw your name in patron, please don't take this the wrong way, I'll explain. As soon as I saw names in patron, I put them on the card. <clears throat> and some people would end their patronage before even their first payment. Ah, right. I think it was just a way of getting the name on the end card. So I'm at least waiting for that now with each new subscriber because if you're really genuinely helping us, your name should be up there. Yeah. Uh, and it will be. That's fair. That's fair, isn't it? Um, do, 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 do. Avril says, come to Devon. Kiss, kiss. And the Nordskov says, get to bloody Sweden. We'll put you up. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Amber says, what's your... Is this is this all right, by the way, in the oven? Yeah. Uh, Amber says, what's your opinion on the McPlant? Will you try it? Uh, I was going to, but I don't think so. No. He's put me off. We talked a little bit about this the other day, and it's like, no, absolutely no judgment here. You know, uh, anybody that's here and has been here for a while, thank you, by the way, all of you, for the thumbs up. Greatly appreciated. We've got 202 in the house, 136 thumbs up. If you haven't already given us a thumbs up, it would be massively appreciated. Um, yeah, we were talking about it last week, um, and with the... Everybody's got their own line in the sand, I think, when it comes to cross-contamination um, with the production of vegan stuff to eat um so the fact that the mcplant i think i believe is cooked in the same oil as the the meat the the, the normal meat burgers that's where i draw my line in the sand i wouldn't want to knowingly eat a burger do we know this about mcdonald's well that's why i just said as no, far as I, I think we looked up the um, KFC, KFC, right, and they're cooked in the same oil. Now that is a lot. That's a that's for both of us. Yeah, but I'm not sure about the McPlant. I'm sure it's cooked separately. If it's cooked separately, we may try it. We may try it. I think a lot of people, a lot of our subscribers, have said the same thing, uh, and a lot of people in the vegan community. I don't think the McPlant is aimed at vegans, is it? Really, mm -hmm. um, it's not. It's not being marketed at vegans. Hey, yes. Uh, and it's one way that McDonald's can kind of, uh, on a, on the corporate and business side of things, they can turn around with the corporate social responsibility hat on and say, hey, we are encouraging uh, omnivores, we're encouraging meat eaters to eat less meat, and therefore that'll, um, you know, reduce our carbon footprint. But, you know, if you get caught out sometime, why not? Oh, guys, honestly, you guys said some lovely things hmm. about us. We're just being us on here and wanting to share our vegan journey and help and support and encourage as many people as we possibly can to go vegan. Yeah. Um, and to, to hear that, you know, it really does help a lot of you out there. Amazing. We can't ask for more than that. Can't ask for more than that. <laughs> um uh, thank you to a few of yours. Uh, Kieran says, KFC and McDonald's are cooked separately. Leanne has said, we tried the McPlant. It's cooked separately. It's unfood, though. Has no effect on your hunger, so pointless calories. <laughs> <laughs> unfood. And thank you, Sarah, as well, and, the, and uh, a few of the others that have confirmed that. It's good to know. It's good to know. Um, so we may do. We're not going to kind of like, it's not going to suddenly become high on our priority list and be like, oh, yeah, let's, let's rush to McDonald's and try the McPlant. Um, but I'm sure at some point in the in the not too distant future we'll end up just like oh things have fallen into place let's try the McPlant. Are we going to try a little bit of this? It would be a bit hot, I think. Well, we've already tried it. We know it's delicious. I might cut it open to show it. Okay. On the inside, but it's it's our dinner. We've only had the digestive for our lunch today because we were getting ready for this. So, Emma, that's a great question, actually. Um, and it's one that I, I, I'm happy to touch on. Emma says, are your families ve now vegan? Um, I would say um, my, is yours isn't. Um, my side, mum and dad, are probably nine, somewhere in the 90-something percent vegan. They're not 100% vegan, but I'm so proud of them um, for transitioning and switching so much stuff out. Mm -hmm. 
the vast majority of what they eat now is vegan. Yeah. Um, they have non-dairy milk in the house that they use all the time. Uh, the spreads vegan. Everything is it's brilliant, and I'm really, really proud of them. So it just gives me a, a moment to just say thanks, mum and dad. Thanks for watching the channel. Thanks for being motivated by some of the stuff that we do, and thanks for switching out all that stuff and being open to trying new things and uh, helping us all save the planet as well, which is awesome. Whereas Joan will eat anything I make her. Oh, yeah, I love it. And right, enjoy it. Um, but she's not vegan. No. Um, no. But she will enjoy vegan food and appreciate it and even talk about it. So, you know, she's kind of doing a bit as well. Yeah. That's a fair point. Nice try. I think that, that taps into that eternal paranoia that a lot of vegans have going into any establishment where there's a risk of um, cross contamination or, you know, utensils being used, trays, gloves. I have to say, I don't want to give too much away, um, but I won't really give anything away. When I went to Subway um, for my uh, lunchtime taste test last week, I had a wonderful experience in there in terms of all of that, that kind of reassurance. Obviously, the staff are trained. They know what they're doing. Absolutely brilliant. Cannot fault them at all. Oh, Ashley says um, she might be in town earlier on Saturday because she's thinking of going to Holy Than Thou and getting a uh, matcha latte. Fabulous. I'm sure all of that will get finalised over the course of uh, the next week or so. Looking forward to it. Oh, and a new piercing, Ashley says. Ooh. I'm going to get my head out of the way so you can get a proper a proper look at that. There we go. Fabulous. That looks great, babes. Lovely. Can I have that little uh, bit of potato? That's like definitely it. the kind of potatoes I wanted in there. Oh, yeah. Mmm, literally just a tiny little sliver of potato. And you've got all that lovely flavour right there already. And there we go. She's uh, she's done. Uh, ready for tea. I shall uh, whack a slice down for Joan in a bit. And we'll have... <clears throat> and then you've got a really good piece for lunch. Yeah. Uh, next week. It should be... Absolutely. Don't this. Well, we're going to be having an early dinner today, aren't we? Probably, yeah, just because we didn't have any, uh, because we didn't have any uh, lunch. But here's the thing, here's the thing about this, guys. It's like we said, we've got a lot of stuff on our channel that is kind of whack stuff in pastry. Now, you can be fancy and do a pastry plat like we've done many times, which is a kind of really faffy coming out maneuver but it's just nice isn't it yeah or you can just whack a piece of pastry down fill one half with something fold it over prick it and put it in the oven and you can do that with anything you fancy and you know it's tasty yeah it's it's slightly there, Jupiter, so much better than it has been, but just slightly there, um, my cough. Mm -hmm. uh, it's almost gone, thankfully. Yeah. Because it was going on my nerves. Annie says, Earth and Ged, no catch, vegan fish and chips, Brighton. Right. So, I, yeah, I think Peter said before that uh, the, this was a, a spin-off from the Unity Diner. Ah, okay. I think. Nice. So, hey, he's a busy lad. Hey, it's great. He's it's... a busy lad, that Earthling Ed. Busy, busy lad. Uh, and uh, Tracy says, my daughter and myself, goes going back to what we were saying before about families and uh, being vegan. My daughter and myself are vegan. Leroy, on the other hand, is 95 to 98% vegetarian. Uh, oh, my Josh, Paul, that looks to die for. 
Oh Le- my gosh. Leroy. <laughs> Come on, lad, jump in. Jump on the bandwagon. Get in. It's party Get central. It's 2022, year of the vegan. Naked swimming and everything. You're not getting FOMO. You're not getting fear of missing out uh, <laughs> and being part of this vegan fam and just jumping in both feet. Anyway, enough enough on that matter. <laughs> Kelly, did you see that? Then? Yeah, it's the perfect northern. If it can go in pastry, it goes in pastry. If it can go in between slices of bread, it does. If it can go in both, even better. Kelly. I slightly Yorkshireized it because so true. Kelly's not that northern at all. Uh, this girl loves her food. Uh, you are not wrong uh, at all. I, I I I jumped for that sliver of potato, uh, <laughs> and I could quite easily eat a quarter of that right now. No problems at all. But yeah, we will be in uh, a little bit earlier than we would normally uh, because of the lack of lunch today. Uh, and oh, and also the thing with that is. It, I mean, really, you could cut that into six pieces, easy, and freeze three of them. Yeah. Four of them. You know, they do, they'd freeze really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Definitely. And whilst we're, uh, we're just generally chatting, uh, now that the cooking's done and dusted, um, we thoroughly enjoyed watching Paddington on Thursday evening, the first film, and I think we're going to round off the weekend um, this evening watching Paddington 2. And I am not ashamed to say that we, goodness knows how it went under our radar for seven years. It was 2014. Was it 2014? Yeah. I saw the original UK Paddington film. We watched it the other night and it was brilliant. We had a right good time watching it. So it, good. We? Yeah, it was just really good acting, writing, music, story, characters. Yeah, it was funny. It was emotional. It was heartwarming. It's everything you want from a, Brit- a British comedy, isn't, yeah. isn't it, really? Uh, Tracy. It's not that he cannot. It's that he will not. People who say they can't give something up won't. Yeah. The flip side. Up. And you have to own, I couldn't own that psychologically. Yeah. Because that's what I told myself. I can't give, I was vegetarian for two decades before I was vegan. Um, I kept telling myself, I can't give up eggs and cheese. I can't, I can't. And I switched it to, no, Paul, you won't. You won't give up eggs and cheese and dairy. And so you are. And I keep telling, and then. Bye bye. Eight years later, here we are. Fancy vegans. Little by little. Little by little. Yes. Indeedy doody. Indeedy doody. Bit by bit. Putting it together. Nice one, dead balls. Dead that, that's balls actually deserving of uh, going on a t shirt itself, that quote from Kelly. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's t shirt worthy, your uh, pastry quote, Kelly, right there. Love that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so we are going, we're definitely watching Padding 2, aren't we, tonight? I think it'll be a nice way to round off the weekend. And the quotes, yeah. Some nice food, a nice oh, film. Good night, Gillian, and thank you so much for, for watching. Good night, my love. No, no, Gillian. Uh, I, yeah, I think we're going to get off soon anyway, aren't we? Because I want to get a piece of that down to uh, Joan. Yes. While it's fresh. Two she's going to do some broccoli with it and she'll have cranberry sauce with it because she's addicted to cranberry sauce. She has it with nearly everything. Fair play. This is vegan. Yeah. It's all good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Why not? Yeah. It's been a lovely uh, afternoon with if us all. any of you that are not a member of that vegan group on Facebook and you're on Facebook... Please do come along and join the group because it's lovely and there's a lot of really nice people in there and everybody's really helpful and uh, you can ask questions without feeling daft or, you know, share your journey, share your pictures. Uh, All you've got to do is answer the question on the way in. Will you be a decent human being? If you say yes, we hold you to that. Mm -hmm. If you say nothing, you don't get it. Yes. 
and you annoy me. Because believe it or not, it's, we were there to read the question. It just needs answering. Yeah. Don't, don't lose it. There are, um, believe it or not, there are some vegans out there that actually aren't that nice. I just, that's a shock. It's a shock. I've hidden, but it's true. I've hidden a couple of dozen uh, this January from the channel um, who were just being horrible about the the uh, foods in the supermarkets and just trying to guilt new vegans and I won't have it. I won't, I won't tolerate it. If you are whole food, plant-based every day, seven days a week, good for you. Mm -hmm. Don't try and guilt other people. Yeah. We are very protective on not just our YouTube channel, but across our social media and that vegan group on Facebook. We are very protective of the community that has grown up and the philosophy of building people up, not bashing people down. Absolutely. And that's ultimately if, what it's all about. If you're about. eating vegan, to us, no matter what, it's vegan. Yeah. So I'll give you one last look because it would be rude not to. Whilst you're grabbing it, uh, yeah. Kelly says, I've really enjoyed being back on the live, guys. It feels like coming home. Oh, bless. Oh, well, it's nice to have you back, Kelly. It's greatly appreciated whenever you can do it. Come here, Jason. <sighs> why, why are you staring like a maniacal? Maniacal. Because that'll be the, <laughs> that'll be the um, thumbnail. Fabulous. Once I've uh, sorted it out. Thoroughly, thoroughly looking forward to it. So, yes, it's been lovely. It's been fabulous that you have all joined I found, us. I found a tater. You found a tater. Well, I'm sure you'll thoroughly enjoy it. Um, I'll give a quick last mm. um, ask. And, and please just say, um, if anybody hasn't given the live stream a thumbs up, if you could pop out the comments. Give us a quick thumbs up before we start to wrap things up. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, the reason we ask, and I know a lot of you know, is it genuinely really helps on YouTube in terms of the algorithm uh, and getting those robots that work for YouTube to uh, to recognise that something's going on in this corner of the YouTube world uh, that more people should be paying attention to. And then everybody jumps on board with the down-to-earth vegan message. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone. Oh, Tracy, I weren't dissing him. I was just trying to push him for that little extra yeah. little bit. Yeah. Actually, it took me quite a long time to get used to plant milks. We tried loads and then kept going back to cocoa, didn't we? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And it's just it's, it's always been the best one for us. So yeah. we started having a glass with a cookie of an afternoon. Yeah. I've never done that with milk. Any road. Yeah, it's amazing. What at any step that anyone takes is uh fantastic. Um As Leanne. We'll, Sorry. we'll always try and make people um Oh, Leanne's been a member for twenty months. I was yeah. just about to say Leanne been a channel member for twenty months. Thank you, Leanne, for everything. For everything. And all our love and best to him ran as well, of course. Right, my loves, thank yeah. you so, so much to you all for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Hope this has inspired you to occasionally grab yourself a pastry, ready-made sheet, whack some of it in it and, you know, treat yourself because it's homemade when else I'm done, isn't it? You've done it at home. And I'm really looking forward to vlogging uh, the rest of this week for you and showing you what I do, how and what I cook, and sharing those recipes with you and, uh, you know, just a, a week of, of really down-to-earth whole food stuffs. Not all whole foods, but a lot of it will be. I'm looking forward to it as well. I'm looking forward to eating it all. Um, it's been a pleasure, as always. Thank you for all of the support in all its forms. It's greatly appreciated. Next weekend's going to be epic because we're going to be out eating with friends. Um yeah, it's going to be great. Yeah, so Saturday's live mukbang next week won't be at 8.30pm like it would normally be. It will be earlier. It might be about half six. And it might be shorter. And it will be live from a restaurant in Manchester. Yeah. So don't worry, anybody. If you don't want to be on camera, you won't be. We'll just point it at us. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a bit of a different one next week, but we're very much looking forward to it. That's being discussed and arranged in that vegan group. Uh, so if you fancy taking part, come over and get involved. Yeah. Love you, mister. Love you. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. We'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and until then, please be excellent to yourselves and each other. Bye, loves.